this is Idradi here. Are you all ready for a new story? So I'm back with a new story. Give me a few seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, till then you watch a small clip from Disney movie and guess what story I'm gonna tell today, okay? Give me a few seconds. First day of school! First day of school! Wake up, wake up! Come on, first day of school! I don't wanna go to school! Five more minutes! Not you, Dad, me! Okay. Get up, huh? get up! Time I'm for up. school! Time what for is... school! Time for school! Time for school! Alright, I'm up. Boy, it's time boy, for school. Oh boy. Whoa! Nemo! First day of school! <gasps> Nemo, don't move! Don't move! You'll never get out of there yourself. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, where's the brake? You feel a brake? No. Sometimes you can't tell because fluid is rushing into the area. Now, any rushing fluids? No. Are you woozy? No. How many stripes do I have? Many stripes. Answer the stripe question. Three. No! See, something's wrong with you. I have one, two, three. That's all I have? Oh, you're okay. How's the lucky fin? Lucky. Let's see. <clears throat> Are you sure you want to go to school this year? Because there's no problem if you don't. You can wait five or six years. Come on, Dad. It's time for school. Uh, 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 uh. Forgot to brush. Oh. Do you want this anemone to sting you? Yes. Brush. Okay, I'm back. So, any guesses? No, that's wrong. It's not Nemo. Today, it's Nemo Night Games. Okay, are you all ready? So, let's begin the story. Nemo was enjoying the perfect afternoon. He was playing tag with his octopus friend, Pearl. The two friends chased each other from sponge bed to sponge bed. Tag, <laughs> you it? As she stabbed Nemo on the back with one of her eight tiny tentacles. I bet you can catch me. We'll see about that, Nemo said as Pearl jetted away kicking up a large cloud of sand. Nemo flipped his fins faster and chased Pearl past the edge of the sponge beds. He was just about to tag her when he spotted something tall and wide up ahead. What is that? He shouted, pointing a fin over Pearl's head. What's what? Pearl asked. Come on, Nemo said. Let's go check it out. Nemo swam towards a looming object. It seemed to wave at them in a gentle current. Wait, wait for me, Pearl called, called out. Getting closer, Nemo let out an excited yelp. Wow, it was a huge seaweed bed. The bed was a giant maze of green and red seaweed. Some spots were almost too dense to swim through, while others formed small pockets of open space. Pearl and Nemo had never seen it before. This looks like the perfect hide and seek spot, Nemo said to Pearl. Want to play? Pearl looked around nervously. The sea had started to turn dark. I would love to, Nemo. But I think we should head home. It's getting late and both our dads will be wondering where we are. Looking around, Nemo realized Pearl was right. It was time to go home for the night. When Nemo got back to his sea anemone, his father was waiting. Together they had dinner and Nemo told him all about his afternoon with Pearl and the seaweed bed. That sounds like a neat place, Marlin told his son. But now it's time for bed. Oh, come on, Dad, Nemo protested. Can't I just stay up a little bit longer? Marlin shook his head. Try to get some sleep, son. Nemo settled into bed and closed his eyes. He told himself a long bedtime story. He thought about boring things like math class. He even counted dolphins, but he still wasn't sleepy. Finally, Nemo got up and swam to his father. Dad, I can't fall asleep. I have tried, but 
I just can't. So I was thinking. Hmm. Marlin looked up at his son. Thinking, you say? He replied, trying not to smile. He had a pretty good idea what his son had been thinking. What exactly were you thinking, son? He asked. Hmm. I think you and I should go to the seaweed bed now. That way you will know it's safe and I can go there tomorrow and play with my friends. I promise when we get back I'll go right to bed. Please, please dad. Nemo begged. Marlin looked at his son's hopeful face. Seeing the seaweed bed for himself did seem like a good idea. All right, all right, he said finally. Let's go take a look at this new find of yours. Yes, Nemo shouted, flipping over in excitement. Let's go. As Marlin and Nemo swam through the reef, Nemo realized he was glad to have his father with him. Everything seemed scarier in the dark. Squinting, Nemo looked for the seaweed bed. But in the dark, it was nearly impossible to see anything. Son, Marlin began, are you sure the bed is out this far? Nemo nodded. It is, it is, I know it is. I just wish we could see a little bit better. Nemo was just about to give up when he saw a light in the distance. The speck drew closer and closer, growing brighter and brighter until it lit up the water all around Nemo. And in the middle of the light was the strangest fish Nemo had ever seen. The new fish had a giant light under her eyes. Hi, I, I, I am Nemo. Nemo stammered, amazed. Hi, the other fish said in a friendly sing song. I am Lumen. It's nice to meet you, Lumen, Marlin said. I am Nemo's dad. How come we have never seen you before? Lumen fluttered around, causing her light to waver and flicker. My family and I are nocturnal, she said. We swim and play at night while everyone else is sleeping. Dad and I are being nocturnal too, Nemo said. We are looking for this big seaweed bed and I found this afternoon. Do you know where it is? You bet I do, Lumen said. That's where I live. Follow me. Lumen led Nemo and Marlin to the seaweed bed. Do you want to play a game? She asked. Yeah, Nemo shouted. Can we, Dad, please? Marlin nodded. Just stay out here in the open, he said. I'm going to go have a look around. While the kids played, Marlin explored the seaweed bed to make sure it was safe. Behind him, he could hear his son counting down from 100. Don't peek, Marlin heard Lumen shout as she swam off to find a good hiding place. Marlin pushed through the maze of thick green and red stands, swimming farther and farther into the seaweed bed. Suddenly, he realized how dark and quiet it had become. He could no longer hear Nemo or see Lumen's light. Marlin spun around. He had no idea where he was. All he could see was seaweed. He was lost. Nemo, he shouted. Nemo, where are you? But there was no answer.
flipping his fins, Marlin tried to find his way out. Just when he was beginning to think he would be stuck in the seaweed bed forever, Marlin spotted a faint light in the distance. Nemo, he called, swimming towards it. Is that you? Following the light, Marlin made his way through the seaweed. The strands grew further apart until finally he hit the open water. There, right where he had left them, were Nemo and Lumen. Ah, <sighs> Marlin let out a sigh of relief. Dad, Nemo said excitedly. There you are. We didn't know where you had gone. Don't you know better than to go swimming off by yourself in the dark? <laughs> Marlin smiled. I guess I should have followed my own advice. Nemo gave Marlin a hug. I'm just glad we found you, Dad. Together, the two said good night to Lumen as they swam home. Marlin let out a big yawn. <sighs> Nemo looked at his father. When we get home, I think you should go right to bed, Dad. Nemo said with a teasing look in his eye. You have had more than enough adventure for one day. Mm -hmm. The end. I hope you all like the story and I'll be back soon with a new story. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.